Hi, OMSD teachers. Today I'm excited to show you some new ECRI resources that have recently been posted on the CNI website. So from Symbolu, if you click on our curriculum and instruction website, then you click on ECRI. We have recently added a couple of new resources to help you with delivering ECRI instruction in your classroom. The first resource I want to show you that was new as of last year is the ECRI lessons are now available in Google Slide format. So if you click right here where it says Digital Resources Google Slides Format, the purpose of these resources is to The purpose of these resources is to make delivery a little easier for teachers. If you click on, for example, um, the first grade slides, and then let's say I'm teaching first grade uh, unit four, I can go to the table of contents for that unit. And then I can click on the day of instruction that I'm on. So let's say that I'm on unit four, week two, day one. And that will take me to the lesson for that day. You'll see up at the top it says unit four, week two, day one. So Teachers no longer have to um, use the printed lesson to teach with underneath their document camera. Uh, instead, they can just go and click on the lesson for the day that they're teaching and all of the resources that they need will be right there for them. For example, if you scroll down, you'll see you'll have access to the sound spelling cards. The decodable passages are in there. And the contraction cards and apex cards are also built in. So everything you need for that lesson will be in the Google Slides themselves. I did want to let you know that it was recently brought to my attention that some of the decodable reader links are no longer working. So I'm in the process of relinking these. So here's an example. If you scroll down to one of the decodable readers, Let's look at this one. You used to be able to click and it would take you right to the story in the decodable reader, but some of our links aren't working. So I am going to update those. But in the meantime, I wanted to share with you if you run into this problem, that if you go back to our folder and you go to where it says ECRI slides, you'll see that I've linked the decodable readers for every grade level and put them in a folder. So this one is. First grade, decodable readers. You would click on the unit that you're on. So we were just looking at unit four. And then you could go to the table of contents and look for that story that you are going to be having the students read for that day. So uh, the example I just shared was the green eel. And so then you would have them turn to page 17. The next resource I wanted to share with you, if we go back to the ECRI site, is these ECRI routine cards. So when you click on it, it will prompt you to make a copy. This way you can modify it any way you like. In order to deliver ECRI with Fidelity, it's recommended that we hold our ECRI routine packet while we deliver each routine lesson to the students. These routine cards um, have been created in order to help you with delivery of those routines in a more student and teacher or more teacher friendly way. So if you click right here, each of the different routines are listed on a slide. These cards were designed for teachers to print and laminate and put in a binder or put on a ring so that they can deliver the routines and remember what are some of the key things they need to say and do when implementing that routine. 
So if you go to one of the routines, you'll see that the letters or the words that are written in bold, those are going to be what the teacher is actually going to say out loud to the students. And then anything that is in italics is going to be what the teacher is going to do. For example, uh, touch to the left of the letter or tap their finger. The slide um, also notes how to correct student errors and when to call on students for individual turns. In addition to the routines, if you click at the top of each slide, you'll see there is a link of a video of Shelly, the ECRI trainer, delivering the routine in an OMSD classroom. That way you can see the routine in action if you need a refresher when planning or introducing a new routine in your classroom. The slides are also color coded at the top. And the color coding is based on the different skill that the routine practices. So for example, you'll see letter naming and then the routines that work on high frequency words. There are routines that are related to phoneme blending and segmenting, and then ones that have to do with the sound spelling cards and so on. So you'll see I've color coded them to make it easier for you to find those routines as well. Remember the goal is to get through the entire ECRI lesson each day so students can have the opportunity to apply everything they have reviewed or practiced that day by reading the decodable text. So your goal is to always get to that decodable text routine. And this is the part of the lesson where students put everything together. So it's the most important part of your ECRI lesson for each day. The next thing I wanted to show you is the Wonders Phoneme Graphing chart that we just recently added. This was created by one of our fabulous intervention teachers and you can use this as a reference as to which sound spelling card in Wonders is used uh, to introduce the different sounds and spellings. Also, if you scroll all the way down to slide five, you'll see that there are three additional sounds that are important for students to know that are not included in the Wonder Sound Spelling Cards. And so one of our intervention teachers caught this and we have created sound spelling cards for these sounds for you to print and use with students when you're introducing these particular sounds. So take a look at those. Uh, I think they'll be really helpful when we uh, come to these sounds in our lessons. I will also work on adding these sound spelling cards into the Google Slides lessons. Coming back to our ECRI resources, although it's not new, uh, the, you will still have access to the additional resources on the Google Drive, including the decodable passages for each grade level. So that's something that sometimes teachers reach out to me and ask for is where do I find the decodable passages? And you can actually also get these sent to you um, from the print shop or printed at the print shop if that's something that you're interested in. Also, the last thing that's on the ECRI resources page is the ECRI routine video archive. And these are the same videos that are linked on the ECRI routine cards. Um, but definitely take a look at them if you are looking to refresh yourself on a particular routine. I really hope you're enjoying implementing ECRI in your classroom, and I hope these resources will help make your job a little bit easier. If you ever have any questions or need support with ECRI, please reach out to me at laura.smart at omsd.net. And I hope you have a great day.